hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be sharing with you a really cute little small all those tiny petite actually that's the right word a petite bag with you guys that you guys have seen uh, me wear in many of my lookbooks it is none other than the louis vuitton petite mall and i got this bag guys from one of my trips to london and I was so happy that day, you have no idea. And this is how it came packaged. I did an unboxing in one of my haul videos. It was the London haul. I will link that up here or here, somewhere up here. So go take a look at that video. And it's very special to me, I'll tell you why. And to many fashionistas out there actually. And mine came packaged like this with a little cute pillow. That is so cute. The sales associate at Louis Vuitton was so kind and he gave me a pillow for my bag. Now, let me just show you her. This is what she looks like. Can we have a moment of silence? Yes. Petite mal is a French word which means petite, little and mal means trunk. So it means little trunk. And this is inspired by Louis Vuitton's heritage of trunk making or actually the 160 years heritage in luggage making. This bag is very special for a number of reasons. Uh, one of them is that it is just genius according to me how they completely shrunk a large trunk into this small tiny clutch. I love anything that is trunk inspired. So guys, I love anything and everything that is trunk inspired. I had to get this bag. So yeah, it is my dream to have so many trunks in this home of mine and so I started with this petite mal and one day maybe I'll be sitting here on another big gorgeous trunk. You never know. Anyway, back to the bag guys. This is the craftsmanship of Nicholas Gasquier. These come in a variety of uh, prints and colors, guys. This one here is the classic monogram, and I do believe it comes in a damier canvas, and also it comes in epi leather and a shiny epi leather, I think. So this bag is very, very special, guys, because it also features the very famous, and not only famous, but the very symbolic crosses of Albert Kahn, you will see the three red crosses here. And if you don't know, Albert Kahn is a very famous photographer and banker. And he left his signature three crosses. All the petite malls feature these three crosses in whichever color you will buy them. And I think that was such an amazing thing to do because this bag is so iconic. Uh, and it is something you will hold in your closet forever, pass it down to generations other generations i would pass this on to my daughters so that was a huge buying point for me and the fact that i love trunks i chose to go with the classic black uh the monogram because i know this will be forever forever in style this bag guys may be very small but it is extremely high in fashion and style there is something that uh had stopped me from buying this bag uh, when it first came out. Like I told you guys, it came out in Autumn Winter Collection 2014. But this bag, I believe Louis Vuitton has redone. They have increased the size ever so slightly. Ever so slightly because the previous collection of these bags was slightly smaller and many people uh, said to the house that they cannot literally fit anything. So it doesn't make sense. So when they increase the size of this bag, uh, ever so slightly that made it more useful for me and I think many other people out there this bag guys is a bit pricey not a bit it's very pricey for the small little trunk that it is I bought mine for three thousand five hundred pounds guys which is equal to almost six thousand dollars so this tiny clutch packs a heavy hole in your pocket but for the right reasons I assure you so I will just show you the bag really quickly and then I'm also going to show you how to style this bag the bag has gold hardware and it features all leather all around it. Everywhere you see black uh, lining or trimming is leather and the gold hardware right here. It features eight metal kind of reinforcements uh, at each corner which is good because this bag is very boxy. It's not something that will you know fall flat on your hip or anything like that so it's going to move around. 
So if it hits any of the edges, it's very well protected. And another very special thing, because I'm into details, guys. The craftsmanship, that's what I'm saying. Price here, do not argue. If you turn this bag around, you will see the canvas that is actually put together lines up perfectly. Do you guys see that? It lines up perfectly. So a lot of thought, a lot of skill, a lot of hard work by Louis Vuitton's uh, craftsman has gone into this. Hence that price you see there. Look at that. It's all lined up. Every bit of it. Now that is skill, guys. Enough about that. Gold hardware, like I said, these are just for show. And they look a bit aged. And oh yes, this bag also features two hinges on each side. I'll tell you why in a minute. And this is the only really shiny part of the gold hardware on this bag. It opens like that with two clasps. And it lifts up. And then you open to reveal this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It comes in with a shoulder strap like this one right here it's a black shoulder strap which i'll get into in a bit so this is the bag guys it opens up to a beautiful cream lambskin interior so very soft and this is what it looks like and then it has a very very tight uh, pocket on one side of it which cannot fit much to be honest but you can slip in your card or your parking ticket in there it also gives you details on the trimming the exterior is coated fabric the lining, sorry, is sheep leather and the trims are cowhide leather. So this is what this bag looks like, a no fuss clutch. When you think about what uh, would be practical to fit in this bag, I was actually debating and I thought not much, but I end up fitting in two phones, which I'm about to show you. I have an iPhone Plus, 7 Plus, so the largest there is, and a case. And that's in there. I have a Samsung something 8. That's in there. And this is what this bag looks like. I have a third phone in here. It still shuts, but it's a bit tight. But it still shuts. Okay, we're going to try my husband's keys right here. Okay. These are made for a male pocket. This cannot fit here. But can we appreciate his keychain, guys? It's Louis Vuitton. So anyway, this bag is small, but it's mighty, as I was saying. It can fit what you need if you're a minimalistic person. Literally, I, I don't even think you need to be minimalistic to own this bag. This bag is made for those small things when you're going out and about. It's a small bag when you don't want to carry so much. The shoulder strap here features five, yeah, five adjustment uh, holes right there. I have mine on the third one. And it hits me right on the hip, which is nice. If you're a taller person, it would be a bit shorter, but still nice. So finally, guys, I'm going to share with you how you can wear this bag. You can wear this bag three ways. As crossbody, this way. Or you can wear this bag on your shoulder, as a shoulder bag. Or as a clutch if you just take this strap out, which is the way I wear it a lot of the time. This bag dresses up any outfit, guys. A simple... Uh, jeans t-shirt you can wear this with a really simple black white or a navy blue dress you can even pair it uh, with shorts you can literally wear it with anything the options are endless limitless really and this bag is the bag that you wear when you want to stand out from the crowd because she is mighty now let me show you how i'm gonna wear it so guys, uh, the first outfit I'm going to show you is just a really nice pair of high waist black jeans by Topshop. I'm pairing this pair of jeans with a very, very special t-shirt. It's a Gucci classic t-shirt. It is uh, one of their very, very recent collections, I believe. And mine is very special because it features a tie and dye kind of burst of colors on the bottom. For jewelry, I have nothing, just my usual uh, Cartier bracelets and my Pandora bracelets. And I'm pairing this outfit with my uh, Christian Louboutin Soulcate uh, heels and then the petite mouth. The hem at the bottom of the ankles is very distressed, giving it a very, very casual look. And then what I love about this entire outfit is that even being so casual, who would think that a pair of jeans and a t-shirt would make this uh, very going out friendly outfit. This is a perfect outfit to wear 
uh, for a girly lunch on a date uh, with your boyfriend or really anything I just love how the petite male has the capability to transform a very very simple outfit and next outfit guys is a super super casual outfit it's just a pair of khaki shorts that I got from H&M a white tank top that is from Brandy Melville and I'm going to pair these basics I would say these are complete basics with high and mighty pieces like the petite mar and the stunning Andalulu Christian Louboutin booties which I love in this woven kind of uh, design that they do come in I think this whole outfit is so simple they're just basics paired with really really classy and high-end shoes and bags which completely have the ability again to transform this whole look to making it from cute little girl next door to very edgy cute little girl next door so guys the third and the final outfit I will share with you guys is uh, this gorgeous gorgeous really cute romantic uh, little blue dress that I got in Dubai from self-portrait which is a brand again a design house that I really love and have come to love even more since I bought this dress and I'm going to pair this dress with uh, another favorite pair of booties that I own by Christian Louboutin and these are called the Chagada or the Chiagada and they're also in a blue uh, velvet finish which are super stunning I feel the bag petite mal really complements this shade of navy and it kind of just ties this whole look together this dress is really special because it has a lot of character and this dress features two pockets I love dresses with pockets and then it has this uh, elastic waist uh, band that kind of just cinches in the waist it's really nice and then further on if you move upward you will see this gorgeous ruffle all around the bust area which makes it so dreamy this dress to be honest and then as you go uh, towards the neck area it closes off with gorgeous gorgeous lace like I said it's dreamy it's girly it's sexy and it's just a perfect little blue dress so guys that is it about this little petite mal and I really hope you enjoyed this video and the review that I have to share with you about this little girl right here so I hope you really enjoyed this video guys and if you haven't watched my last video then click around go clicking be click happy click everywhere and thank you so so much for being here with me and guys uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below ring that little bell to be notified every time I post a video twice a week and do share like don't forget don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do let me know guys in the comment section below if there are any other bags you would like me to do an in-depth in, in depth, not in depth an in-depth review of the bags and let me know I will gladly do that for you and um, yeah happy weekend I need to go until the next one guys lots of love and light